today. AMD Zen 4 gets tested. NVIDIA's new flagship GPU's performance and pricing leak. GPU prices will finally get to normal when, and Intel shows off their desktop Arc Alchemist GPU. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, AMD Zen 4 is set to release later this year with their Ryzen 7000 parts. Unfortunately, we don't know much about the upcoming architecture, other than the fact that it's built on 5 nanometers, has some great clocks, PCI Express 5.0, and DDR5. Okay, I guess we do know quite a bit. Well, today we get another look at the architecture through a leaked benchmark, and it's pretty huge. The benchmark comes from Geekbench, and as you can see, it's of a 32 core, 64 thread CPU, and the OPN code is is associated with AMD's next-gen Epic Genoa CPUs. So these are server chips, but it gives us an idea of what to expect out of next-gen Ryzen as well. So far, AMD has confirmed that Genoa gets up to a whopping 96 cores, and it looks like we can see why. While the L3 cache remains the same, this sample is showing double the L2 cache, so a big performance jump is likely coming. As for the performance, this CPU isn't all that great, but it's an early sample with fairly low clocks. At the end of the day, AMD's Zen 4 is set to be a serious jump in performance. Time will tell how it competes with Intel's next gen. But first, I've got a great deal for every PC gamer out there, and it's brought to you by this video's sponsor, Micro Center, the retailer that sells everything a PC gamer could ever want for their build, and they use real physical stores where you can see your PC parts. I mean, what other place can you select from a full aisle of motherboards, tons of cases that you can see before you buy? or even custom water cooling loops. Where else can you get that? Well, Micro Center is it, and it's where I bought components for my first ever build. Plus, they have real, knowledgeable staff who build their own PCs and help you along the way. It's basically a PC gamer's heaven, and they're offering you a great deal. When you click my link in the description, you'll get a coupon code for $300 off a sweet gaming laptop for new customers. I'm talking an RTX 3060, 16 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte SSD, and more. It's a great laptop top to get you into the world of PC gaming. So visit the link in the description to get yours today. Next up for today, NVIDIA's upcoming flagship GPU, the RTX 3090 Ti, Ti. is finally beginning to see performance and pricing leak out. In a new report from Video Cards, they go over recent leaks. For starters, CapFrame Max claims that the card is set to be around 10% faster than the regular 3090 at 4K. Unfortunately, some other leaks are claiming closer to 5%. Either way you look at it, the 3090 Ti isn't looking to be a huge performance jump over the regular 3090, and that's even with the massive 450 watt power draw. Of course, we know that the main reason for the release is to introduce the new 16-pin PCI Express 5.0 power connector, and according to video cards, that's exactly what the new card will have. Images of the upcoming EVGA version shows the new connector, as well as the Founders Edition card. As for price, there are some conflicting reports. MyDrivers claims the new card will come in at a whopping $2,000, while another leaker claims they're set to cost the same as the 3090. Either way, the cards are rumored to at least be announced tomorrow, so we'll have new information on that soon. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the GamerMail Notification Squad to get an email when those are released. Next up, if you've been keeping up with GPU prices, you know that quite a few stories have been showing that things are getting better. And today, I've got three of the biggest stories yet. Starting things off, we have a story from PC Gamer, who's recently noticed that GPU stock has been getting back to healthy levels. But what's bigger is that PC Gamer spoke with one of the largest GPU manufacturers out there, ASUS, and according to them, they're quote, reducing MSRP aggressively, and that they're dropping prices across all SKUs. This makes ASUS the first third-party manufacturer to do this, and according to a supply chain expert, this will likely force other suppliers to do the same. Basically, the day we've been waiting for is finally happening, and we can already see it in the market, as the second story comes from 3dcenter.org, who's been reporting on the GPU prices from the beginning. In their most recent update, you can see that both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs have reached their lowest point in 15 months, really since 3D Center has kept up with it, and likely since the cards were released. 
you can see that both manufacturers are only 25% over MSRP, which is obviously still quite a bit. But in a new story from Tech Radar, they spoke with a rep at the retailer box.co.uk. And according to him, we can expect attractive pricing in late April or May, meaning around MSRP is finally within our grasp and soon, maybe even lower. And lastly for today, Intel has officially shown off one of their ARC desktop GPUs. For those who don't know, Intel has an event in just a couple days where they're set to go over their ARC lineup. And ahead of that, they shared a couple videos. First up, they shared a quick teaser on Twitter with the 3.30 date. And in that video, it's just a few seconds of what's clearly a laptop. So Intel's certainly set to announce their mobile lineup, likely their A350M and A370M. But I obviously mentioned desktop parts, and that's where a video is shared on Intel Graphics' official YouTube channel. In the video, a senior program manager at Intel, Bob Duffy, goes over setting up a scene in Blender. And about a minute and 10 seconds into the video, this pops up, where it says, quote, demonstration conducted on Intel Arc pre-production desktop discrete graphics card hardware. Results may vary. So it's definitely an Arc desktop GPU. And what's interesting about this is that it means we could actually hear something about their desktop line on the 30th, not just their notebooks. Anyway, back to the video, the presenter shows some depth of field blurring, how quickly Intel's GPUs can update the scene when changing materials, etc. Unfortunately, they don't show us the technical details of the card, but they did render the desktop scene, which finished in about 7.3 seconds. Now, we don't have any other GPUs to compare it to, but it's nice to see Intel has reached this point with their GPUs. The update to Blender with Arc features built in is set to come sometime in Q2, which is obviously the same timing for when their desktop GPUs launch. And of course, that may sound far off, but keep in mind that Q2 starts in April, so things are definitely coming soon. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Intel's first real jump into GPUs? Or are you pumped that GPU prices look to finally be returning to normal? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!